stock information is an easy one. It displays the notice if, if the product is out of stock or if anything specific regarding the stock needs to be mentioned. And again, we have to figure out which element to select. And here we will just do the, the paragraph. It, it's just a paragraph, so no much thinking required. And then we just say product stock. So this will create a single product stock template. And no need to say in where this should be displayed. I just save it and take a look at the template. Stock. Yeah, what it does is just our paragraph with um, and displays availability. And nothing to see here because product is in stock. So let's go, I think cap, cap might be out of stock. Yes. And here we get the notice. And if we inspect it, we see that it's using uh, WooCommerce um, styling for, for that. So if we want to get, here's a neat trick, if we want to get rid of, of the styling, especially the font size, notice that, you know, the selector is quite specific. It, it targets du.product and then p.stock. So if we would change the paragraph into div, then this would not match anymore. And we would just get the color red which is easier then to overwrite in our custom CSS. We just need to change one rule instead of two. So let, let's try that. Go back to Pine Grow. Right click, transform, change it into a div. And then we need to, to add margin because paragraph comes with a margin. And div doesn't have default margin, margin bottom. So let's do that. So margin bottom, maybe two or maybe three. Yeah, three looks about it, about right. And then we select. Reload and inspect the element. So now it's div. And the stock, the p dot stock doesn't match anymore. So the font size is not changed. So we only have the color that is used for that. So, and here we, if the, this would be in stock, then we would get the, the, the green color. So eventually we might need to overwrite these rules if we want to have our default colors. And also can notice like WooCommerce is quite inconsistent with, with how it's using the selectors. It was using p.stock to, to make the font a bit smaller, but here it's just using dot .stock to make it green. So it's kind of a bit inconsistent and this makes it difficult to to, to override the styles. Um, anyway, just a comment. And if we, if we would really want like extra control, we, we can always change change this. Actually, let, let's do it. You know, the stock, it's quite simple. The stock element. So let's override the red color so that we use our bootstrap red color. Well, actually, let's do both of them. So we just copy the rules and then we go to Pine Grow. And let's add a new file, create new file. 
and we can call it custom CSS and we will use this file to overwrite kind of kind of general WooCommerce uh, styles. Click and paste the code and we can use um, we can use variables. Bootstrap comes with handy variables. So we'll do danger for red. And here we can use, we don't want it to be too colorful, maybe just dark. Okay, but we have to include this custom CSS uh, on the page and we might think, you know, we could think, okay, let's just take it and add it to this page, but, and it got added here, but remember that this is using the master page. So everything here will be replaced by, by the header in the master page. So the correct way to include styles like this is to add them to the master page. So let's do it here. Custom, and then we have to export the whole team, not just save one page. Okay, let's go back. Refresh. Okay, it's wrong. So PS danger. Oh, yeah, we have to change the order of the rules. So let's go custom CSS. So CS, in CSS the later rule kind of overpowers the previous rule. So we want to do default dark and then out of stock should override this um, um, this rule because both selectors have same specificity so this part is the same and then a class a class so they are equally strong so that's why we have to change the order and just uh, saving it it uh, re-exported the, the style sheet so now here it is the out of stock is red using the bootstrap danger color and uh, the normal stock is displayed with bootstrap dark color so, okay that was interesting we also did a quick kind of style override when doing the where is it our stock information and I, I, I said at the beginning that this one will be simple, right? Well, anyway, it is simple and we learned an, a, a nice approach that helps us uh, fix styling where necessary. Okay, see you in the next video.